All right, this is a skeleton carving a pumpkin. I know that seemed like it did not need explanation because it's right in front of you, but I'm explaining it anyway. I am using the Grabby 100 color watercolor set and some miniatures paint brushes that I got from Amazon. I like to paint small. I know some people prefer to paint large. I like to paint small. It gives me a better overview of the image overall uh, before it's complete. Like, have you ever painted something and then took a step back and went, oh, okay, I need to do this over here in the corner. Um, I feel like I can do that without having to step back when I paint on a smaller canvas, or in this case, watercolor paper. This is Arches Hot Press watercolor paper. I honestly prefer cold press watercolor paper usually, but it does not reproduce prints well because you can see the texture in the paper when you scan it. So since people complain about that, I switched to hot press paper, which is much smoother. And then you can't see any of the paper texture when I scan it and reproduce it. Anyway, I was really trying to avoid like the metallics and the uh, the fluorescent colors when I was painting this because they also don't scan well uh, for reproducing. But the orange that I, one of the oranges that I used for the pumpkin sure seems fluorescent. I don't know if you caught that, but when I painted the stem green, I smeared the green into the area underneath the skeleton's leg. So I'm going to try to fix that and make it much, much worse. <laughs> um, and it ends up a blotchy blue ground effect, I guess, uh, which I do remove in Photoshop for the prints. Um, but since this painting is going into a gallery show, everyone will get to see that blue blotchy mess underneath him. Yay! Anyway, back to the seemingly fluorescent orange. It did scan fine, so it must not actually be fluorescent, which means these are really nice bright colors, even without the fluorescent ones. Honestly, if you make prints, I'd say roughly half the colors in this set are not going to be colors that you want to use. Which it would be nice if they told you that when you bought the set, but if you do any kind of watercolor, um, anything like that where you scan it. Normally, you probably know that you can't use fluorescence or metallics because they don't scan well. Anyway, despite all the problems with this painting, I think it turned out really cool. I really enjoy it, and I love Halloween, and I love skeletons, and I love pumpkins, and this has all the things. In a second, you can see that the print turned out a little redder, but it's still a pumpkin color, so I'm happy with it. If you like it, check out my website, heatherdorshcreations.com.